Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today we're going to cut open a loci bracelet. Many of you are probably having the same response that I had when I saw this request. I mean, we got this request many times from our different subscribers. Why are we even considering cutting open a bracelet right now? Because there's two different beads on it, mm -hmm. and one of them it has water from the top of Mount Everest. And the other black bead, it has dirt from the Dead Sea. Exactly, so kind of unique. In fact, we had some good friends of ours from New Mexico that were in Israel for the last couple of weeks, and they sent us a picture of them in the Dead Sea, and they said, hey, you should cut open a loci bracelet. And so like Lincoln said, the sand from the Dead Sea is on one side of the bracelet, and that basically represents that when you're at your low, stay hopeful and things can get better. And then also the water from Mount Everest that's in the white bead at, on the other side of the bracelet tells you that when you're at your highest of highs to stay humble. So the question is, <laughs> does it really have water in it? And does it really have sand in it? So we went and bought ourselves a set of these bracelets. And to show you that it's brand new, we haven't tampered with it or anything, it hasn't been a used one, it's still wrapped in the plastic. So let's take off the plastic and get the actual bracelet out of here. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's all those bracelets. One, two, three, four, five. Three different colors. The bottom that says find your balance, and then it has this nice top on it. Very, very cool. Let's check it out. Fancy bracelet time. Whoa. <laughs> there they that are. Camel one is cool. We got camo pink, clear, blue, red. Put down this paper towel so that if there is liquid in it, it's obviously going to be a small amount and I wanna be able to see the liquid, and I think with the paper towel, it'll absorb it, and we'll be able to tell. All right, bracelet number one. Ready for this? It's just a silicone ball. There's not one drop of water in there. What? Nothing on the entire paper towel. There's That's nothing. Weird. Not one drop of water. Not one drop, literally. Like nothing at all. It's just plastic. All right, one is not a big enough sample size since there's nothing in it. We're gonna wait on the black bead. Let's just figure out the water side of it first. Let's cut another one. Anything? I don't see anything in there. <laughs> There's nothing. Nothing inside of there. That is crazy. Give me another one. <laughs> pink. All right, pink. Show us something. All right, is there anything on the blade? I went all the way through. Not nothing. one drop of anything in there, and nothing is on the paper. So you see that? Nothing inside of that one, no water. Take a look at the blue one. I'm stretching it, there's nothing, that's, there's no cuts in it, we didn't tamper with it at all. And let's just take this razor blade Nothing inside of that. Nothing on the blade. The paper towel is not wet at all. All four of these guys and nothing was inside of them. <gasps> no! <laughs> There's just one left, so. <laughs> no, no please. Dude, we gotta cut this one open. We gotta figure it out. I only wanna keep this one. We've already cut four, isn't that enough? <laughs> Well, if there would have been water in them, then I was hoping that we'd only cut one or two, but there's nothing in four. But this is their whole company. I mean, this is what it says on here. The white bead, carrying water from Mount Everest, the highest point on the earth. The white bead represents life's highest moments. I mean, that's what this thing is. How could there not be water in here? This is a silicone bead. I mean, silicone should be able to keep water inside of it. It should just recirculate and stay in there. These just arrived at our house two weeks ago directly from the company. Like, we ordered it directly. So these, this was a special, 
color that it, I think December 31st was their last day that they even sold this one. So these are fresh. Last one, last one, please have water. Come on, Camo. There's the hole. And I don't see anything in that one. Lincoln, check it out. Nothing. Nothing. That's sad. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed because these were $18 a piece. I spent over $100 for these five things. <laughs> the packaging is awesome. The, the story is great. I just don't see any water in it. It's nothing. So the sand, let's, so we've, I guess, yeah, let's look and see if there's sand in it, but it's like disappointing already. Like if you buy one that doesn't have water in it, it's like a cool idea yeah. to remind you of it, but it's more like a figurative. It's not literal, like there's literally water inside of it. We've determined that every single one of them has mud in it and every single one of them does not have water inside of it. Great. So I'm looking on their website, they have a cool video that shows somebody picking up big gallons of water from Mount Everest. So I found in the FAQ section of their website, it says the white bead, stay humble, it comes from the highest point on earth. It's sourced by Sherpas who are native to the landmark. The water is injected into the center of the silicone ball itself. As silicone is porous material, we have found that over time, when wearing your loci bracelet, the water may evaporate through the white ball. So we didn't wear it. We didn't have it for time. So, and there's all five of them. So I see what they're saying. I could imagine that it would evaporate over time. That's why I purposefully went to their website and got brand new ones to, so that we could go through them. Yeah. Um, I feel bad that there's nothing in there because it's a really cool story and I'd like to have them for our family, but I don't know that I'm ready to buy any more of these. I spent over $100 on bracelets that didn't have the water in it. Same thing. I wouldn't want to get another one, even though they look so cool, but it's just not really worth it if it doesn't have the water inside. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any other suggestions of things that we should cut open, please feel free to send them our way. We are so grateful for all of our subscribers and fans and all the suggestions that you guys give us. We're having a blast doing this, right? Yeah.